Hey, did you know there's a running route to space? Seriously, ever wondered just how far up space actually begins? Let's break this down into a mind-blowing journey. Imagine you started running straight up like Rocky Balboa facing the ultimate climb at your average jogging speed. After just 48 minutes, you'd hit the point where you're gasping for air because, well, there isn't any. That's how quickly the atmosphere thins out. But keep going. An hour later, and you're soaring at the same height as a commercial airplane. Think of the in-flight peanuts you could be enjoying. Here's where it gets interesting. NASA says you've reached space after about eight hours of this vertical marathon. But hold on, almost everyone else on the planet disagrees. Let's explore this further. The Karman Line, the internationally recognized boundary of space, demands another two hours of uphill sprinting, a full 10 hours total. And guess what? Just a short jog beyond that, 20 to 30 minutes more, You'd be at the altitude where Blue Origin launches its passengers on those breathtaking suborbital hops. Still feeling energetic? Because you've got a long way to go. Keep running for a total of 16 hours, and you'll be dodging some of the lowest satellites orbiting Earth. Now, for the serious commitment. 40 hours of non-stop upward running puts you alongside the International Space Station. Imagine the view. But if you're chasing Starlink satellites, prepare for a 55-hour ultramarathon. And finally, for the truly dedicated, or maybe slightly insane, runner. Keep going for 3,500 hours. That's almost 146 days, and you'll reach the altitude of the farthest satellites circling our planet. That's dedication. So, after hearing all that, would you sign up for the ultimate space race, or are you sticking to your local park?